People often don't realize the enormous costs that go with productivity loss due to heat strain. An individual working at an environment of 35 degrees Celsius is 20% less productive than when they're working at 25 degrees Celsius. It's evident that this globe with the climatic changes is getting hotter. We need to act in order to minimize the detrimental effects of environmental heat stress. During the Heat Chief project, we're creating climate models that will allow us to predict climate way in advance. We are working to develop a specific occupational heat health uh, warning system addressed to a specific category of workers. We know that uh, individual characteristics of people have a strong impact on people's response to heat. So for example, age is an important factor, fitness is an important factor. And in the work we're doing in the project, we're going to analyze these different components and try to come up with a model which then predicts the impact of these characteristics, age, fitness, obesity, etc., on work and productivity in hot circumstances. The workforce in Europe is aging. Uh, workers will become increasingly vulnerable as a result of that and we're going to see increased injury, heat stress and even death. Reducing significantly heat-related injuries and heat-related pathologies can significantly improve health and quality of life of older individuals as well as patients with chronic diseases. It's a pleasure for me as project coordinator for the Heat Shield to present this group of excellent experts and scientists. Increasing workplace temperatures create enormous inequalities in Europe. The reason is because poor countries tend to be hotter and also within a country poor households tend to live in warmer regions. With the Heat Shield project, what we're trying to do is we're trying to diminish this gap and make Europe a, a better place to live by uh, reducing inequalities. Absolutely, Europe will be a safer and better place to work uh, because uh, it's about uh, human security on one hand, uh, it's about better economics uh, which is needed in these times and uh, of course it's from research point of view which is also important, we will have new knowledge. Mm -hmm.